What's going on, Scorpio gang, gang, gang? Hope all is well with you guys. To my returning OG subscribers, what's poppin'? What's up? What's good? To my newly subscribed, hey, y'all. Thank you for allowing the channel to continue to grow. I really do appreciate that. To my members, only community, I love you guys. To the moon and back, you know that. This is a Scorpio affair, sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node. Anywhere you have Scorpio placements in your chart, Grab your boo, your hookah, your blunt, your spliff, your whiskey, your vodka, your gin. Whatever it takes, Scorpio, for you to tap into these energies with me like we always do around about this time. Right, let's just tap the fuck in. Got two that came out. <clears throat> so I'm hearing, um, I'm seeing the, the pregnancy test in reverse. If you're having a pregnancy scare, Scorpio, it's, it's fake. It's some bullshit. So it says, pregnancy test, unsure, pregnancy scare, positive, negative. It's in the reverse, it's negative. You're not pregnant or whoever you suspect is pregnant. They're either not pregnant or not pregnant by you. It says, venting about you. All right, so somebody somebody a little agitated with you right now, um, Scorpio. They could be talking to your mom or to their mom or their best friend about you right now. And then you have parenting, focusing on your children, co-parenting, yeah. Let's see. So maybe this is past energy, Scorpio. Maybe this is um, you going through a tough custody battle with your ex here, your baby daddy. Um, maybe you, do, you guys decided to part ways after this pregnancy scare here or something like that or because you know you found out they were cheating or whatever this is and then you have getting closer it came out in reverse so i feel like yeah you and this person would just you know y'all grew apart that's just what i'm getting here and then you have fake friends so whoever these fake friends or frenemies it could even be family I feel like they um, kind of attributed to this situation breaking up or like I feel like they put a strain on y'all's connection here. And then it says threatens you never to leave. It's in the reverse. I feel like this person left peacefully. I feel like you guys are trying to find, you know, a way to co-parent with your child and like just, you know, be cordial to each other because I just feel like it's really no bad blood. It just feels like. Something happened between you guys where you outgrowed each other. And it's like now, you know, it's it, it's getting to the point where it's getting tumultuous. So it's like y'all are not getting closer. Y'all are getting further apart. And then it says doing the most. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like that pregnancy scare was like just the nail in the coffin for you, Scorpio. Let's see. I want to get one more one flip. It says staying centered, align, aligning yourself with the universe. Yeah, because I feel like at the end of the day, anytime that you that you're um facing any kind of adversity, Scorpio, or anything that has to has to do with triggering you to be. Um, in an energy that you don't want to be in or a space you don't want to be in. I feel like you quickly like have the cure for that shit. Like you know to get somewhere and meditate. You know to, you know, pull your car to the side of the road and take three deep breaths or whatever this is. And then on the bottom of the deck it says obsessed third party interference. Yeah, I figured that because I feel like that pregnancy scare had to do with a mistress here. Oh, all right, Scorpio, let's see here. I want to know more about the person, though. The third part of here. Why is pregnancy scare here for Scorpio? Yeah, it says live. You seen that fly? It says live in situationship. So I feel like um, maybe your person could have been living double lives here, Scorpio. I feel like, um, and even this person could have children with this person. And this pregnancy scale was just like another pregnancy. Maybe you, I don't know, accepted the first one because it was, I don't know, because of what was like. I feel like if 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 you're a Scorpio that accepted this person back when they cheated on you and had got somebody pregnant before, 
I feel like it was something about the circumstances surrounding it that made you like forgive them, but not this time. This was this was like the nail in the coffin, like I said. Yeah, and unbothered is here. It's like you, I mean, you know, it's like you already left this person before you actually left this person, um, Scorpio. And I just feel like the person that they're they're with, like the third party connection, I feel like it make them happy. I feel like the other person happy too. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, vending about you. I feel like this person, they sit and they tell this third party about you. Because the third party, I feel like, knew about you. You just didn't know about them yet, Scorpio. And I feel like whoever this person is, the, the female or the male, they enjoy the intel. Okay, they, they want the smoke. They want to know who you are and how you do things so they don't, you know, so they can move different or manipulate the situation here. What else? But I feel like this per I feel like your person happy. Joy is the card that came out. This person enjoys talking and venting about you to this person. You know, and this person likes receiving the intel, the information. And then you have Big Daddy. You want to rumble, you want to roll with the big boys, earn it. And I just feel like that's your mantra right now, Scorpio. Now that you're single, now that you've released this energy and trying to get back to you, it's like you really not interested in love, but it's like if I if I was to be interested, make me interested, make me an offer I can't refuse. It's that type of energy. And on parenting, it says, "Cause your shining success intimidates their demons." Yeah. So I feel like you do have somebody in your corner that's cheering you on. You know, somebody who's been your best friend a long time. This could this feels like a first cousin too. You know, like first cousins are damn near like sisters. Two sister children, two um, brother children, a sister brother. Check it out, resonates. But I feel like somebody, you know, is reminding you of who you are, Scorpio. Somebody is reminding you that this situation is not your conclusion. It's just another stepping stone, you know? Keep shining. Keep being successful. Keep being the empress that you are. I can't make this shit up. Scorpio, when, when you are empress... The people that act like they don't see that you're an empress, it's bullshit. And the people that recognize that you're an empress and they tell you that, it could be manipulation too. But however, it's neither here nor there. The thing about the empress is you knowing that you're the empress. You know that you're shining and that your success, it intimidates their demons. It says business owner, college graduate, and I know my word. That's just that on fucking that. And on getting close in the reverse, it says physical relationship only, in love with the booty. I just really energetically feel like um, that's that third party. They're really not concerned with a connection. They're trying to trap this person. But they love the sex as well, and they know that's how they draw, how they draw your person in with their sex. The overall energy being obsessed. This person is obsessed with your person. I feel like that mostly had to do with the third part. I feel like once you walk away, this thing just fizzles out. No more obsession. It's more about child support then. All right. And then you have considering adoption. Mr. I'm not sorry, but you're the reason your um, person cannot conceive. Yeah, I just feel like this person over here getting pregnant, trying to get somebody else pregnant because you couldn't conceive. But it wasn't the fact that you couldn't conceive. It's just the fact that God... Didn't want you to conceive with this person. <laughs> Both of y'all are perfectly fine when it comes to sperm and all that type of shit. Your body functions and female functions. Everything's good. It's just It just wasn't purpose. And the other person, they made it. They set intention to get pregnant for a meal ticket or try to steal your husband or whatever. But it's like, you didn't have to get so drastic. You didn't have that motherfucker. On fake friends, you have successful single parent. It's almost like, Scorpio, the fake friends, the people, I mean, you know who they are. It's people who you who you have hang around you just so they can see your success. Because you know these motherfuckers always had some bad shit to say. You know, it's just a select few, though. It's not a lot of people. It's just like, these are family members. This, this may be even, even you just going around to the family cookout on the weekend and they just see that you're successful they see that you're beautiful right they see that you handling your business even though you left jojo and boo boo you still a successful single parent you ain't asked them to babysit you ain't asked them to give you a ride no way you just been handling your shit and then you said it has loss of a child family member through natural death or through the actions of someone else 
abduction, gang violence, social media, bullying, gender, hate, racism, or suicide. Yeah, that's that fake friends shit. I feel like they, they on social media is trolling your page and shit, acting like they somebody else. But really, it's them secretly being jealous of you. Why? Because they got a front row seat. Why? Because y'all bitches was doing all the talking. Y'all the bitches need to witness this shit. So they mad. They pressed. Ain't nothing going right in their life. You know, they mad fucking up on them. They know it. They accept it. You know, it, they, they, in the, they in this swinger type energy. But not really. All right. Threatens you never to leave. It's in the reverse. I don't feel like this person a threatened type of person. They just, you know, they're just being misguided. It says business or work affair. Yeah, your husband could have met this person at work. That's 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 85% of the time where it go down at. Because you spend more time at work than you do with your actual family. Yeah, and it has restraining order. So I feel like this person kind of, I feel like Scorpio, this person started being obsessed with you. To the point where they're coming around. I feel like too. Because this person feels like they have a little leverage. Like they have a baby. You don't. Like they try to play this card with you. I feel like you had to get a restraint order. Not because you didn't want to choke a bitch out. But just because you got too much good shit going on in your life. To even be vibrating this low. Right. Doing the most. And it said here here we go child spine. So yeah this person. They have they have become, become obsessed with you Scorpio. The third party has. But they're, they're getting intel from, from your husband. Like your husband sit and tell this, this person or your wife. Sit and tell this person every single thing about you. If they want to run down on you, they fucking cool. <laughs> That's just that on that. All right, let's see. What else? We have religious beliefs affecting the relationship. I don't know what kind of relig uh, religious beliefs it is, but I just know it's a sin when you're married to cheat. So fucking, I don't know what kind of religion. This person could be Muslim, maybe. I don't know where, you know, they think they can have more than one wives. This man could be from Taliban, Tel Aviv. I got that earlier, India. I don't know. All right. And it says, staying center, aligning yourself with the universe here. Absolutely. What do we got? It says, user, girl, I got tired of him asking for money while getting out of the shower. I said, okay, okay, go upstairs and grab me a pair of my panties. Then said, now put them on because you a bitch now. Yeah. I feel like that's the thing. I feel like in this connection with this person in the beginning, um, Scorpio, you helped them build their business. Because this person is definitely, you know, like a powerhouse. You're a business owner too. But I just feel like you almost feel like you taught this bitch everything for him to move on with somebody else and try to build. You know, and it's just like, so it's just saying... Just accept who you are. Accept what the shit is and move forward, Scorpio. You know who you are. You the Empress. This is just a minor setback. You took an L, okay. But now look what your overall energy is. Happily married. Like, bitch, be for real. You thought it was going to stop something? You thought, like, my life was going to end because, you know, this, this connection was you wanting to be with somebody else? Go ahead. It's always somebody for somebody. Mimi, where you was at? What do you mean? Oh, Sorry about that, Scorpio. <laughs> I didn't know my daughter was here. She was in the, in the room I got because I was mad at her. But anyway, so accepting who you are, I feel like, Scorpio, that's what you're doing. When you're doing that centering and, you know, you're you're, you're just accepting what it is. You know, what's going to be going to be. You understand, you know, everything that happens indirectly or directly in your life don't necessarily have to do with who you are as a person. Sometimes a lot of shit have to do with who they are as a person. And we got to stop letting them off the hook with this shit. Let's clarify. All right, let's clarify the pregnancy test, being unbothered, and living in situationship here. All right. So the first thing you have is the high priestess. It came out in reverse, which makes me feel like this person... Um, knows more about you than you know about them Scorpio I feel like too with the two of wands coming in reverse I feel like you didn't really feel like this person would do you like this this person's always honored you this person's always been good to you y'all always you know it just feels like y'all were together a lot yeah the palace of cups you and this person could have been together a long time too I'm here like from high school on up, Scorpio. Yeah, the Knight of Wands. But I feel like this person always been a cheater, Scorpio. Community dick. I feel like you 
Even in like high school, this person was a player. Let's see. Yeah, I feel like this person just they that's who they are energetically. Like they they try to confuse women. You know, they they get whatever it is they want out of them and they're gone. It's it's almost the high priestess to me in reverse is almost like somebody manipulating your emotions, somebody somebody making you feel like what whatever it is you feeling negative or whatever it is you perceiving inwardly is not real. Like your inward witness is not valid. Like, nah. I feel like this person always made you feel like that. And then we have Venting About You, Joy, and Big Daddy. Yeah, this person's sitting. They pillow talking about you, Scorpio. Really, that's a, you the only thing they got in common. <laughs> Who am I talking to? Shit. The Six of Wands, you the only thing these bitches got in common while they sitting there trying to generate a relationship, a baby, and a family out of thin fucking air. That's the only thing they can talk about you. You are the topic of discussion, shit. But the Five of Pentacles, these mother, the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Wands with the Temperance card, they'll just let you know this them and you the Temperance. It's like they sit, the, the majority of their time is spent talking about you, Scorpio, or fighting about you with the Five of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, and the Temperance card. It's like they can't stop fighting about you. And you unbothered. You don't give a fuck. You like, have that motherfucker. Like, please say, take him. You can have the community dick. Now you'll see the dick ain't all that with the temperance card in the bottom. <laughs> or whatever this is. Whatever you think it is, take it. Yeah, the nine of swords. It's a headache. Scorpio, you want to sleep at night. Like, you ain't doing this shit no more. So now I feel like now that you're out of the situation, the two of swords, y'all co-parenting, you know you're the empress here. You got the two of swords, you had to make a decision. And the decision you made was to co-parent. I'm not mad, I'm not angry, you chose what you chose. Okay, I'm an empress, bitch. Whatever you chose, it can't trump that. It can't trump that, so I'm unbothered. I'm okay with whatever you got going on, just can we co-parent? Yeah, the ace of cups in reverse. Like I'm okay with that dumb shit you got on that you that you got going on that you call in love, but it's really the ace of cups in reverse. It's almost like a pervert it's almost like the opposite of marriage. You know what I'm saying? It's shacking up. That's what the ace of cups is in reverse to me. Shacking up, bitch. The Queen of Swords. I just feel like with the Queen of Swords being here, I just feel like you just speaking your truth with this person. I feel like too, you hadn't always. Because I'm getting the energy like this person real anxious. They feeling anxiety. Now, now that shit just like final. They like realizing that you're not the person they thought you were. You're not as weak as they thought you were. You were trying to see. Ooh, as soon as I said that, look what I turned over, y'all. The strength card. This person didn't realize that you being submissive to them, Scorpio, was because they were a good provider. They were a good husband. They did wear a lot of masks and hide who they were. Okay, till they couldn't no more. And that's what drew the strength. I'm okay with being vulnerable when it's okay for me to be vulnerable. But well, when it's time for me to stand up, I don't give a fuck who you is. That's just that on that. We're going to stand toe to toe. I hope you don't think Scorpio going to sit around while you in another relationship with somebody else having children. All they're thinking about is having children. And here you go. The king closer in reverse. Considering adoption. It's just like, y'all, this shit don't work. You're not supposed to get pregnant by this person. Yeah, the Knight of Swords in reverse. It just wasn't supposed to happen. It ain't the right time. Somebody just want a baby. They don't they don't care who it's with. I don't know if this is you, Scorpio, or them, but it's just like, no. Nah. And I just feel like it was a slap in the face for this person to go somewhere else while you, you know, you feeling like something wrong with your body. Scorpio ain't shit wrong with your body. Yo, look at this. The Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands coming out. You think it's something wrong with your body that you can't have children. And now it this is a different, this is a different depth of hurt to find out that this your person, your husband, baby dad, or whoever this is, got somebody else pregnant. It's like that. Okay, but with the ten of ten of ten of wands here on that, it's like, what the fuck am I doing? And you just realize the ten of wands, ten of swords, it's time to end this shit. Like, why am I thinking about children why am i thinking about anything like this with this person i'm not in a good place 
So it seems like you just start reevaluating and reassessing your situation. It's called a life review, Scorpio. And you realize the things that used to be so big and important to you about this person, they're really small. The page of swords. Now you're realizing this person kind of sought you out, Scorpio. You really didn't seek this person out. And now you see why this person is a narcissist. I interjectly feel like to this person, you know, I feel like they got this other person pregnant just to prove that it's they're not the problem. I, I, I just really got that. Like, this is an asshole, bro. It's good you left this person. Fake friends, successful single parenting, loss of a child or family member through natural death or through the actions of someone else. So somebody could have um, left your life here. I'm here. They saying abduction, gang violence, social media, bullying, gender hate, racism, whatever this is. I feel like this is recent, too. My condolences if that happened to you. I feel like, too, um, they, were good, they were a good parent here. And I feel like with the fake friends coming up under that, somebody set them up. That's just for somebody else, okay? The Ten of Pentacles. I feel like whoever this was, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling divine masculine energy. This was somebody's brother, somebody's uncle, somebody's father, okay? This person was very family-oriented. His family really loved him. He could be leaving behind a family of like five or six kids, I'm hearing. That's a side message. It has nothing to do with what we're doing. Okay, keep up, guys. And then we have the Ace of Wands here. Yeah, so with the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands here, Scorpio, I just feel like there's a new beginning coming here. And I feel like it's something you're passionate about. Not only passionate about, it's something you're going to have to relocate. Or I feel like you're going to have to move to a warmer climate for whatever this is. All expense paid, I just heard. I feel like people are going to try to talk you out of it because it's a lot of moving parts. The Wheel of Fortune I just saw. Go for it, Scorpio. Because I feel like whatever this opportunity, not only do it bring a lot of money, but it brings... Like a lot of um, influences, it brings it brings a lot of people that you need to meet for further adventures. It feels like this is the catalyst for you to like start meeting real friends instead of fake friends. Okay, that's just what I'm getting. Let's see. Somebody here is doing a lot of research on you too, investigating you. I don't know if this is a background check, Scorpio, or a credit check. All right, the Eight of Pentacles. It could be a um, background check for a job here or to purchase something major. Yeah, the Five of Swords in reverse. I feel like everything checks out, whether they were suspicious or not, or whether you were suspicious or not. I'm here to read the fine print still. Threatens you never to leave. Restraining order and business or work affair. Like I said, this person met this person at work. Yeah, the king of wands in reverse, community dick. Somebody who was non-committal. Somebody who, you know, is like disconnected spiritually. They lack emotions. Yeah, the magician in the reverse. This person could be doing witchcraft. The third party. Because this person is very obsessed with you, Scorpio. Your person, the will of fortune again with the empress. I can't make this shit up. This person is obsessed with you. Who they want to be, Scorpio. The only thing that connects you and this person is this man or this woman. And that's what bothers them. <laughs> that's what gets me. Okay. It's almost like that they're, they're really not fucking your husband. They want to fuck you. It, it, it's giving me that energy. Like, for real, this person too obsessed with you. You have the title card. This person could have even been in your house or been to your house or like where you were. Yeah. The Eight of Swords, because this person, they're like, they're really consumed with you, Scorpio. And your person single-handedly did this. I don't feel like they know they did, but they did. Religious fact, religious beliefs affecting the relationship. Here we go, child, spying and doing the most here. Let's see. Yeah, the Page of Pentacles in reverse. It's like this person acting real mature, immature and childish, you know. It's like you caught them red handed and here they are, you know, trying to come up with some, you know, like, like, like I was out of town with my homeboy called drunk. You know, it's like, it feels stupid to me because you already over it, Scorpio. It's like, you ain't got to lie. You ain't got to lie, Craig. We, we good. 
Like, if you think I'm loving you still, that's a fucking lie. The death call, it's over with. I'm done. I don't want to do this shit no more. Go ahead, be married, be happy. And it's just like when you get happily married, Scorpio, boom, whoever this is, you have a baby. Yeah, the page of cups. Why? Because the love is genuine. It's pure. It has pure intentions. You you begin to relax. You, you're you not having rough sex. You're beginning to feel, you know, the connection with your partner. Who am I talking to? It's something about you and this person, rough sex. It's something about how your body built, Scorpio. You weren't able to get pregnant with this person. I know that's a little TMI, but it's like whoever this person is, you like the within the first year. If you and your childbearing years within the first year, y'all get y'all get pregnant. All right, accepting who you are, because I feel like you beat yourself up a lot behind this Scorpio, knowing that your person got somebody else pregnant. <laughs> so now you, it's like you feeling like it's you, but it's not you. All right, so we have the six of Pentacles here. Absolutely. Like I said, somebody is going to be like, the way y'all exchange, you know, love and how y'all make love, this this person is going to, you're going to receive a baby. Six of Swords is here. I mean, that's just that on that. The Six of Pentacles, Six of, four, of Swords, you may be seeing 666 here. Contrary to belief, that is a lucky number. That is not a cursed number, okay? Um, and let's see, the Six of Swords. Yeah, I feel like this person just spiritually guides you to... This place, Scorpio, where you're so calm, your body is not reacting to every single fucking thing around you and in you. It's just like, you know, you're not having all this allergic reactions to shit. Who am I talking to? Yeah, the Seven of Pentacles. This is somebody who's very grounded. This is somebody who is really excited about the opportunity, um, Scorpio, just to even be able to date you. But this person is an emperor. It, it it takes a lot for an emperor to get excited. This person is excited about y'all's connection, Scorpio. I love it. All right. And on the bottom of the deck, yeah, of course, we have the lover's card. So like I said, this is somebody and happily ever married, happily, happily married on the bottom of your deck. I know that this is somebody here who is serious um, about you, Scorpio. All right. Let's get a mystical journey oracle here. We're going to close, Scorpio. I love it. Yeah, I just feel like your ex was very pompous, you know, could have been even good looking, work out a lot, just thought he was a God gift to women or whatever the fuck. I feel like this person just made you feel like you were the problem, Scorpio, and it was them all the while. The Eight of Swords, they put you in this self-imposed prison and thought you were just going to shut the fuck up and go along with it. And you're like, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm stronger than that, dude. You just didn't know it. I'm an empress, boo. Yeah, so you got new beginnings on the bottom of the deck. And you have redemption here. Uh, let's read redemption really quick. 64. It says, the goddess depicted on the redemption card is opening her arms to the universe seeking redemption. She is asking for forgiveness, but in her heart she understands that the choices she makes are hers and hers alone. She belongs to no one else. The snakes coming from her chest represent feelings of guilt and self-judgment. Tough decisions have been made, but she has honored her needs. This has not come without sacrifice, but it has set her upon her highest path. Redemption rises from the bones of self-blame and regret. This, guard, this card asks you to move on from painful past and cast aside any feelings of remorse. What has been done cannot be undone, and you have learned great lessons from your experience. The proud and gentle stag standing at the top of the image heralds a time of positive change and release from suffering. Let me hold a card up, y'all. I'm sorry. From suffering. Dear trust their in dears trust their instincts. They are powerful and independent. Learning to trust your own decisions when it comes to doing what is best for you. And do not give this power away to others. Absolutely. That's called self love. And then the action is focus on the wild goddess and feel her power. She is the keeper of her own soul and she makes her own decisions with grace and beauty. Play some drumming music and dance to the beat with abandon, which abandon so you can discover your wild spirit. All right. And then new beginnings here. This last one. We're going to close out. That's powerful. Redemption, Scorpio. That's what it's about. It's about being free. All the things we talk talking about. Being free, being, you know, the self-love. 
you know, the new beginnings, you know, knowing what it is you want, knowing exactly what it is you don't want, more importantly, right? 52. It says, the new beginnings, today is the day you commit to working towards your life purpose, the activity that makes your heart sing. The new beginning card signifies that the start of a fresh adventure, a new moon, a new sunrise. The clouds are clearing and opening your vision, and with this clarity of mind, you can be certain what lies ahead of you. A strong will of sense of determination is essential to fulfilling your potential. Set up different routines and rituals that will keep you focused. You need to be prepared for the joyful hard work that is necessary to transform yourself and your life. Absolutely. Reset any negative cycles by writing down your positive intentions. Goals are a great way to track progress and maintain a vision. Use small, manageable steps and measure your progress. Then reward yourself when you have your when you meet your goals. The owl symbolizes knowledge and wisdom, which will be essential for you to continue learning as acquisitions of new skills will open many hidden doors of opportunity. Absolutely. Move forward with your eyes wide open and acknowledge your power and shine your light. And the action is clear a space in your home that is just for you in which you can relax and journal your innermost feelings and how our purpose goes. Here you can work on your vision board and plans. Absolutely. And I think that was just, um, we talked about that in another video, Scorpio. Find a space in your house. You don't have to go outside your house yet. All right, Scorpio, if you're still with me, like, subscribe, join, let those ads play for at least 30 seconds so your girl can get all the credit from YouTube. If you like a personal reading with me, everything you need to know is in the description box below. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.